Hi, I am Tanmay Bhandari and this device changed my life. Let me explain. I am a fourth year MBBS student at BJMC Pune and I got this iPad in the second year of my MBBS. Before that, my bag was heavy and my life was boring. But this iPad changed everything. Instead of reading plain textbooks and understanding nothing, I started making my own notes with the Apple Pencil. Instead of scrolling Instagram on my phone for hours, I started creating content. So basically, I use my iPad for three things creation, entertainment and education. And before we begin, I want to show how my iPad looks and how my home page looks. Okay, so this is how my home screen looks like. The wallpaper is very basic and I don't care about the wallpaper that much. The important widgets that I have on here is the Google. It is Headspace, which I use for my meditation and uh, it is Craft, which I use to create content and write my scripts. And this is an app called Todoist and I use this as my second brain. And this is what I'm very excited to talk about. So stick till the end. This is the clock app. I use it to put alarms. I use it as a timer while studying and I also use it as a stopwatch also while studying. This is the forest app widget. This is an app that I use if I want to plant trees and basically planting trees means that I'm not going to use my iPad during the moment or I'm only going to use the apps that I want to use and I have given permission to rest. All the apps get blacked out and I can't use them. And finally, the app that I use the most, Prep Ladder. Okay, so let's talk about studies now. So this iPad has completely changed the way I study. So when I was in first year, I really didn't know how to study. I used to just read textbooks and I used to read them over and over again without really understanding and without really being able to remember what I've read. So then I shifted to this iPad in my second year and I started making notes with my Apple Pencil here and there. And when I got into the third year of my MBBS, I joined this class called DAMS, which is an offline class. So basically we have college on the weekdays and we have the class on the weekends. And the class is usually 12 hours long and you just don't get any time to yourself. And when I used to go to that class, I used to just carry my iPad and I used to make notes on my iPad with the help of good notes. Okay, so I faced three challenges with that class. First of all, that class used to be on weekends and weekdays pe call it. So I really didn't get any time to myself and time to relax, time to unwind. And second of all, the classes used to be for 12 hours long and I used to find it difficult to concentrate for such a long hours. And oftentimes I used to miss out on important concepts. And thirdly, even when I was in class, I was so busy writing notes that I wasn't able to pay attention on what the teacher was actually teaching. So I quickly realized that that class was not for me. So I switched to prep ladders. The reason that I switched to prep ladder is because they have video lectures. Video lectures I can literally watch anywhere. I watch video lectures in my gym. I watch video lectures in my library. I also watch video lectures at my home while I'm eating or doing anything of that sort. So watching video lectures at my own pace in my own time is a complete game changer. And while watching video lectures, I used to annotate their ready-made notes so I could actually pay attention to what the teacher was teaching and I could go back if there was any other problem. But now since I'm in final year, I really don't have the time. So I'm just going to watch the video lectures for all the major subjects and all the other subjects. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the question bank and I'm going to read the notes and the notes have small timestamps. If you're reading the notes, you can just go to the timestamp and if you have any problem, you can just watch that segment of the video, which is an incredible thing for someone who does not have time such as me. And on top of that, they have this amazing set of questions in the question bank that I solve religiously. And I have started taking MCQ solving and QBank solving very seriously. I noticed that most of my screen time on my iPad just came from these two apps, which is Good Notes and Prep Ladder. Another interesting thing on the app is that they have something called as a streak. So when we used to use Snapchat, Snapchat may if you send a photo every day, you used to get a streak point. And if you do it consistently every day, your streak builds up. But even if you skip one day, your streak breaks. So Prep Ladder has introduced something like this so that we are addicted to studying and we just make it and play it as a game. And honestly, it has transformed how I study completely because every day I tend to finish either five hours of lecture watching 
और टू आवर्स ऑफ लेक्चर वॉचिंग एंड सिक्सटी एम सी क्यूज और हंड्रेड एम सी क्यूज और अ ग्रैंड टेस्ट एंड दिस इज हाउ यू गेट अ स्ट्रीक पॉइंट इन प्रेपलाडर सो माई मैक्सिमम स्ट्रीक ऑन प्रेपलाडर इज नाइन विच आई स्कोर रिसेंटली बट आई एम गोना मेक गेटिंग स्ट्रीक्स अ यूजल हैबिट एंड इट इज गोना चेंज हाउ आई स्टडी ट्रिमेंडसली Okay, so I recently discovered a new feature on Good Notes, which is their flashcards feature. So what I did is that I took pictures of my prep ladder notes or the content of my prep ladder notes and framed questions related to that and made flashcards out of it because it uses two core principles of studying that is spaced repetition and active recall. So recently I came across a YouTube video by Justin Sung, who is a study coach in the US. and he talks about something called as encoding so we all know about active recall and spaced repetition but he believes in something called encoding and which means that you just understand your data well you just interpret your data well and you organize your data well so that you don't forget and you don't need active recall and you don't need spaced repetition because your graph of forgetting becomes slower and you remember information for a longer period of time and this is what completely was like engraved in me and you should check out his videos because they are really amazing and i'll link it down in the description so anyway he talks about something called as a mind map and a mind map is basically how you study so when you are studying something you tend to make connections with what you've already studied and hence it builds up a network in your brain your brain uses something called as neuroplasticity so when you learn a new piece of information your brain connections become stronger and the neural circuits become stronger and other associations which you don't usually use become weak and this is how your memory works because you are able to make connections on how you study usually how we've been studying is linear we just read the textbook line by line but this is not how our brain stores information our brain stores information by connecting different pieces of information and this is where this fantastic obsidian app comes into play i recently used it to make a psychiatry mind map basically to explain you and any layman would understand this that psychiatry is basically divided into general psychiatry psychology and clinical psychiatry so general psychiatry contains your history taking and it contains your examination part so after taking a history you do the examination and this is the protocol that you follow in all subjects in all branches basically i made a wonderful beautiful mind map and it really changed how i study and the entire subject of psychiatry i was able to fit in this just one mind map and it is genuinely mind blowing and i love and what i did was i just used my previously made notes and i just took screenshots from good notes and i used it to make this amazing mind map at some places i even wrote it down if you want me to make a complete tutorial for this app because i am genuinely excited and if you are like me you are struggling with studies and you are struggling with remembering information this could be the solution to our problems so this was all about studies and how i'm going to use my ipad to study and how i've been using it so far Now let's come to the second part of the video which is entertainment and I use my iPad as my primary entertainment device. I literally stopped watching TV because the iPad is a way convenient source to watch content because you can literally be in bed and watch whatever you want. At the same time this iPad is very addictive that's why I use this app called Forest. where when i don't want to use my ipad i just put forest on and i'm only able to access the apps that i really am going to use apps such as good notes prep ladder etc and it helps me focus and i'm not usually distracted when i'm using forest and also this ipad has an amazing screen it has amazing four speakers that you genuinely won't need any other bluetooth speaker in your room if you have this ipad and plus this battery life used to be very good initially and i used to be able to make notes for 12 hours continuously but i've noticed that the ipad battery dies pretty fast aajkal the ipad that i'm using currently is the m1 ipad pro and i've been using it for more than 2 years and it has worked amazing i also use this ipad okay so those who've been following this channel for 
फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नो दैट आई एम अ गुजराती एंड गुजराती इज आर ऑब्सेस्ड विथ मनी सो जब लॉकडाउन हुआ था एंड आई वॉज अलोन एट होम आई रिसर्च अबाउट द स्टॉक मार्केट बिकॉज दैट वॉज लाइक something that everyone was talking about at that time and we had nothing to do and there was no college so basically i did a lot of research i did a lot of courses and i started investing in the stock market and i used to do something called as swing trading and it made me a lot of money and i was profitable in the stock market and i am still in profit in the stock market for those who are interested in knowing but now since i am in fourth year there is so much academic pressure i am running this youtube channel i really don't have the time to look into the stock market so i use this app called small case and they basically manage your portfolio for you and small case is an amazing way if you are looking to invest money in the stock market but if you are looking to invest money in general the best way to invest money is to may invest money in yourself because suppose you buy a video editing course for 5000 rupees you will be able to earn 10x 20x with the same 5000 rupee course because you are genuinely adding to your skills but if you put in 5000 rupees in the stock market it's going to take years to multiply so if you learn a good skill if you invest money in yourself if you invest money in buying this ipad or these kind of gadgets that improve your productivity make you creative you don't necessarily need this ipad if you want to create and if you think that it's going to develop your skills and if you have money lying around you can definitely invest in this device i also use this ipad as my second brain and this is how i use it there is a very famous quote that says that your brain is supposed to have ideas not to store them for example if someone tells me ki kal 2 baje medicine ka lecture hai so the thought will keep running in my mind and sometimes what will happen is that my brain will be stuck with that thought and there will be no room for new ideas in my brain so what i can do is i can create a second brain or i can create a system where all of my brains unnecessary things or the things that i'm going to need in the future i can just dump it in one place and when i have the time i can attend to that task so that my brain is always free to have new ideas all the time so to accomplish that i use this app called to do list which is basically a to do list app but i use it in a very different way so whenever there is something in my mind such as if someone tells me that there is a lecture at 2 tomorrow so i'll just write that lecture at 2 tomorrow pm tomorrow so this will just set a reminder in my to do list and this widget is there on my home screen on my phone as well as ipad so i will always understand what task is there for me tomorrow or whenever i look at my phone so this is basically how it works and i don't just use it as a calendar so for example my goal is to meditate every day so i make a recurring task on to do list which is meditate every day so this becomes a task and i'll keep getting notifications on my to do list that i need to meditate every day so this is what my to do list looks like currently and as i keep doing things i'll just tick them and the things that are overdue from yesterday are on the top so other than that i also use it for creative purposes for example i'm in college and someone tells me ki tanmay you should really watch this movie called three idiots it's a really good movie so i'll just type three idiots here and i'll put it here and when i'm home when i'm free i'll just check this off and i'll put it in my notes in the list of movies that i need to watch this is how anything and everything that comes to my mind is here let me give you another example so suppose i get an idea that i want to make a video called what's on my ipad and i'm sitting in a lecture in college i'll just write it down here and i use an app called craft to basically write my scripts so whenever i'm free i'll just use this and i'll put it in craft and just like that any other idea i get all the time i just put it in my second brain because naturally i'm a forgetful human plus this has completely changed my life and if you like this video please hit a like show some love and i'll see you guys in the next one